Wendy Aguilar joins us live from the annual Run to Feed the Hungry. Hey, Wendy. Good morning. Yes, it's quite cold out here, but that's not stopping some of these runners. They've been stretching all morning, and here I am trying to stay warm. And I have Ariana over here. She's teaching me some dance moves. How, how are you staying warm? You know I love to dance, so let's do it. Oh, that's how you stay warm. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right, so you've been running before. Have you done this before? Um, yes. All right, how many times have you done this? Um, once, I think. Once before. And yes. are you excited? How are you preparing for this race today? Um, jumping up and down. Jumping up and down. That's a good yeah. one. We've seen a lot of people jumping up and down. Now, some people, even though it's cold, they have their beanies, but other people have shorts on and tank tops. I have full on jacket, scarf, gloves, the whole thing, and I'm freezing right over here. And we have Kelly over here. Kelly, what's going on? Everyone's excited today. Everyone is so incredibly excited. This is 23rd annual run to feed the hungry. We could not do this without you, Sacramento. Thank you for helping us be the largest Thanksgiving Day run in the country. That's so exciting. Now, everyone that's out here to run, it's for a great cause. It is. All the funds raised today will benefit programs and services Beautiful. at Sacramento Food Bank and Family Services. Beautiful. Now, that's such an awesome way to start Thanksgiving is by giving back. So if you're ready to run, I don't know if I'm ready to run, but we'll <laughs> stay out here. We'll send it back to you. There you go. Great way to work up an appetite. All for a great cause. All right. Well, a black bear apparently